Welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts Matt Zion here. Uh, I am filming this as of Thursday, which is uh, Thanksgiving night. I went out and tried to do like, I, I always kind of just as a tradition, I just kind of go out to either Best Buy or Walmart or Target or whatever, and I'll just walk around real quick. One year I bought a TV, one year I bought like a DVD. I, this year I did not buy anything. The line was ridiculous. It was at least an hour wait. Uh, I heard at some locations it was like two hours. In my opinion, that's not worth $100 or $50 or whatever it is to save on a TV. So, uh, with that being said, pointless information that you didn't even need to know. Uh, one of the only fast food places that was still open, because I'm pretty hungry, was uh, Del Taco. Now, Del Taco, uh, this is their Queso Epic Burrito. Why did I have that, like, break in my throat? That was weird. Their Queso Epic Burrito. Uh, I've said multiple times, if you're going to go to Del Taco, you need to get the... Epic Burrito series, because the Epic Burrito ones are so good. Uh, they're like, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but they're Steak and Potato Epic Burrito. I think that's what it is. Ziggler is rubbing up all against me. He wants he wants food so bad. You already ate dinner today, you fat piece of shit. Here's what's going on, though. Uh, this is their queso. Like I told you before, the last two reviews that I did, they are adding queso into everything. The first thing we tried, it was the nachos. They were all right. They weren't that, they weren't great. They were just middle of the road. They are fine, and a naked homeless woman walked behind me in the, in the shot. Then I tried their queso, uh, like, little cheap chicken roller thing. Those were terrible. I mean, it's probably, it, it might have been one of the worst items I've ever had from Del Taco in my whole experience of being there. But now, redemption time. Their epic burritos are awesome. So hopefully, sticking some queso in there, uh, this is going to work out. Now, this is the location that did give me mild food poisoning one time. <laughs> I got an epic burrito, like, it was at least three or four years ago, but I got it at, like, 3 a.m. Because it's, it's open 24 hours, and I got super sick. Uh, but, you know what? I'm a glutton for punishment, and it's one of the only places open, so here we go, let's try it out. There's no queso! It's so dry. Where are you? Queso, where are you? This one's not very good. This is not very good. The, uh, the fries that are in there, I'm crunching right through. Uh, there are no crunch whatsoever, I mean, I'm just biting right through them. They're just very soggy and mushy. I didn't get any queso in that bite whatsoever. Uh, let's get another bite. Alright, there it is. Queso uh, was kind of packed in the corner. You know what? This is fine. I would say this is on par with the nachos that I tried on the first review. It is definitely not uh, crackalacking living up to the better epic burritos that they have. Uh, my favorite one, of course, I said before, was that steak and potato. Steak and potato, that's what it is. Steak and potato epic burrito. Um, I really like, it's not all the time, but I really like the shrimp uh, epic burrito that they have as well. Um, and the avocado one is also delicious. It's not bad. I'm going to give it a very, very low 4 out of 5. It's going to get the job done for my craving tonight. But overall, I, I kind of do think the queso experiment uh, failed pretty miserably for Del Taco. Uh, I'm glad that they tried it, but just stick to their regular epic burritos. But what are your thoughts on these? Uh, if you do go to Del Taco, I know it's more of a California thing, but uh, what's your favorite thing to get from there and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure if you do uh, want to support us on Patreon, Link is down below in the description. Ziggler's still rubbing on my feet. You'll get main shows and mid-month challenges early. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.